What's up guys? A question that I get asked over and over, no matter how many times I answer it, is where do I get background tracks? How do we use background tracks? What are background tracks? So I'm gonna give you just a quick overview. Um, and the first thing, the program that we use that is the program for this is Ableton Live. Ableton Live is hands down the best program because what sets it apart is the ability to jump around in a song in time. So for instance, if you wanna repeat a chorus, you can, if you wanna jump back to a different part of the song on the fly, you can do that as well. So um, the way we use them, what we use, I'm gonna just show you real quick. And I've got my screen uh, recording here as well. But I plug my laptop into an interface. We're using a PreSonus Firebox. You can use a million different things, but we send four channels. Channels one and two are the tracks, stereo. So left and right. And then channel three is click and guide and then channel four is background vocal. So where do I get them? A couple places. Number one, multitracks.com. It's the largest resource of tracks. Also gospel multitracks, loop community, all these same type of resources. Um, I'll link them all below, but um, they have stems, so master stems from a lot of these artists. So if you hear a song and you're like, man, I hear some stuff that sounds like the original artist. Well, chances are maybe using the stems from the original artist. So. Um, what do we use? What do we use in our background track? So our arrangement, we have um, keys one, we have keys two most of the time, we have organ, we have bass, we have drums, we have two guitars. So what we will leave in the track is one, a click and a guide. So telling us where to go, you know, chorus next, this. We leave the loop in, so percussion. Uh, we will leave horns in. We will leave like maybe a third or a fourth guitar if there's some, you know, unique part. If there's like a strings that are unique, we'll leave that in. Um, we'll leave like background vocals or vocal effects in sometimes. And we send that separately so that the sound guy can kind of mix those in like really low. Um, we don't want the background tracks to really be evident or even that you notice it just kind of helps fill everything up. Um, but anything that is extra, right? So kind of synths and effects and different sounds that are unique to the song, we'll leave those in the track. So again, in Ableton, what I can do is I can start in the intro and anyone out, anytime I want to, I can jump to a chorus. So say if they give a sign, hey, we want to repeat the bridge, I can repeat the bridge on the fly. Super simple to do. Um, so that's basically it. Ableton Live, I, I'm still using Ableton 8. I'm still using Ableton 8. I think they've, I know they have nine. I think they've got 10, I don't know. But I'm using eight. I've got nine, but I still use eight. So Ableton Live is what we use. We get a lot of tracks from Gospel Multitracks from multitracks.com. Or if we can't find a track, we'll make it ourselves, um, record it, and then again, drop it into Ableton. So that's how, where I get my tracks, how we use them, and what they are in a nutshell.